Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of Ditech Factorial Multiplayer with Oni. Hey. How are you doing? Good. Good. And... Yeah, last time we did a lot of power stuff. Yep, and I did about, about a whole lot of nothing, so... <laughs> yeah, I finished nothing, so... Uh, I no, need, um... Good. Oh shit, I forgot to get steel. So I'm, 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 done, I'm done making all the stuff I needed, but... Oh wait, I have one. Oops. Uh, put this over here. Now I should be able to go like this. Alrighty. Can't see anything now. It's dark. Yeah, it's really dark. It seems like it's always nighttime. I don't oh, get yeah. it. Okay. I um. No, oh, I need iron. Oh, I need steel. God damn it. Um. No, I don't. Yes, I do. Right. I have a whole ton of flying robot frames. Probably don't need those. Need steel and iron. Man, I wish these biters weren't so scary. Otherwise, I'd do, I'd like go kill some on my own while you're doing that. But oh yeah, but like they're, they're, they're they're ridiculous right now. So yeah, there's really not much we can do. I suppose. Wait. Well, wait. I don't have anything to do. I can go pick up stuff. Why the hell do tanks require circuits? What you mean storage tanks? Yeah, they do. I don't get it. <laughs> I don't get why they require circuits. You mean storage, it, it, like the liquid storage Yeah, liquid tank. storage tanks require circuits. Not for me. Well, the, the crude rotor requires circuits, I think. Oh, you're, you're looking at the Mark II. Okay. Yeah, the Mark II, yeah. I see. Actually, the crude rotor does not, but one of these things does. Are you sure? <laughs> well, I tried to make two of them, and it, one of the items like, it told me to get was circuits. Oh. Huh. So two, I think it's frames. I think frames. Okay. Um, yeah, frames require 15 circuits each. All right. Wow. So I apparently a, a, a wooden frame requires electronic components. All right. Man, there's like 10 alien artifacts sitting over here, but it's guarded by an army of those dudes. Do you have a tank you can, you can use to like, get it real quick? Uh... I think that'd be a little dangerous by myself. <laughs> hey, I'm not going to die because I did something stupid. Again. Again. <laughs> All right. Oh, you want to so, play chicken? Boom. Put that there and put that there. Oh, man. There's all kind of emerald guys and berserker guys now. Oh, shit. They killed all the turrets down here. Uh row. You know, I, I think I saw that earlier. I think I saw that, saw that happening at one point, but I, I noticed that they weren't actually killing any of the miners. Oh, that's nice. Here, guys. Now you're dead. Uh, will that work? <laughs> oh, it's really quite effective to run them over. You're doing. Wow, uh, 167 cobalt. cobalt. Very nice. Tin, more tin. All right, let's head out. Oh, come on. Oh, no. Oh, God, they killed two of your fancy robots. Time to hop out and run. Oh, uh, no. Please don't die. I didn't. Wow, they ran away. It's like I got out of the tank and they're like, oh shit, okay guys, turn around. Turn around, we're done. <laughs> Whoops. Damn it. Um, how the hell are they, are they, or how and why are they killing all of our logic robots that are level two? I don't understand what, what, they're, what they're doing up there in the first place. What? The kill are they killing our logic? Are they really? Yeah, the, the Mark Ones. They, they're they're killing them some, somehow in some way. They're like killing them, and I'm not, I'm not sure what they're, what the bots are doing up there in the first place. Because they they don't repair anything, and they don't replace any items that are destroyed. Well, that's not good. <laughs> oh, 
So... Luckily, right now, our power seems to be doing okay with the addition of those solar panels and whatnot. Yeah, it seems to be very nicely handled. All okay. right. What's happening again? Okay. Go drop these guys off. Okay, what's it doing up here again? Right, I needed a uh, substation. Wait, does this need stone? No. Well, why is this not working? Oh, did you? Okay, you capped that. I see. Um. Medium spitter. Medium spitter. Medium spitter. Big biter, big biter. We don't even have processing for that yet, do we? No, unfortunately. Well, medium biter, small biter, and small spitter. How many chip walls do we have? 146, not bad. And I'm going to raise the cap on these laser turrets. Sounds good to me. All right, how's uh how's your setup going down there? Good so far. I think I'm close to I don't want to say finishing, but actually, hang on. Uh, I need to make sure these don't connect. <clears throat> uh, Alrighty, I you'll see. see. You'll see why in a second. Uh, these can connect though. Yeah, there we go. All right. So uh, if I put down. All right, check this out, check this out. Um, boom, right? And I go... All righty. Whoops, that's not right. Okay, so I don't want... Like, I, I don't want the main line powering this, because if I, if I power this with the main line, It'll make the main line use this as well. Right. So I want to make sure this is only being used by these guys. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put down a large power pole here. Then I'm going to put down a... First I'm going to put down this guy. And then I'm going to break the connection between him and him. What the hell? Why is he... I guess he must be in range of the engine itself. Yeah, he no is. Big deal. So then I do this, and that one engine's gonna power everything else here. And because so, it, doesn't, it, it doesn't matter that he's secondary because he's the only one who can do it in the first place. Well, you lost me, but all right. So well, he, because he's secondary, it is, his main function is to only kick on when there's not enough in the primary. But since there's no primary here, then he has to go. You know. So this one steam engine is charging all these accumulators. Yeah. Well, what do the rest of these steam engines do? Well, the rest of these steam engines will be responsible for like, for powering the base when we have like a power problem. Okay, so you need to connect them to the main line. Right. And I, see. I, need, I, need, I need, And the reason I broke this connection is because I don't want the main like if I if these two connected, then the whole lot of these guys would power the main line as well. The whole, the, all these substations would power the main line as well. But I only want these substations to power. Well, I only want these accumulators to power the um. The what should we call it? The um. The liquid handlers over here. So if I do this, and I break the connection, and I hook it up manually, <laughs> can I can I reach that? You yeah, asshole, can't reach it. That. Okay. Okay, and then I set up a. Let me break this guy real quick. All right, I see what you're doing. I get it, kind he's of. Not, he's not gonna <laughs> fit there, is he? God damn it. He can fit there, and then I want this guy. I'm not sure how he's gonna. I'm not sure how, why why this fits here, but it's gonna work. I'm right. <laughs> not sure why it <laughs> works, but it does. All right, floating power pole, good to go. So now, I just simply chain this down somehow. Oh, I can't. God damn it. Can um, I fit a big one here? This might 
bring all my plans crashing down the brownie. Um. <laughs> okay, I actually, actually don't, I don't need that there, actually. So if I do this. Do this now? Can I do... All right, well, if you... Let's see. Well, one of them's not going to have power. Who cares? Still going to work. So now, this liquid handler right here is being powered by both the primary line, which is on the right, and if, if the primary line fails and can't power this anymore, then the secondary line over here will kick in with the accumulators, and it'll power that. Along with this one steam engine will power it as well. But, we're not done yet. All right. We come over here, and because there's no loops in the system yet, I should be able to just do this. And now the entire lot of the, the engines, except for this one at the bottom left, right. who's also included, but the bottom left one is the only one who's doing the um, accumulators. All right, so let me get this straight. So <laughs> <laughs> this is like brain melting. All right, Blowing so my mind, man. <laughs> so like when we get attacked and our main power fails, these secondary ones all except for that last one over here well the last one does as well the last one will kick in as well but because the last one has a broken link between the left one and the right one the last one also helps power the accumulators that are on the left right and then the accumulators power the liquid handler for these things yeah and that's their only job that's, that's their only job okay so, so that, that, that means that the, the, the handler can be powered for quite a long time even after all the power dies Right. So if all our other power dies and like all the liquid handlers for them turn off or whatever, then we have these um, seven steam engines to power our base. Yeah, the until, eight. it's eight total, yeah. Right, eight until the other ones can come back on. Yeah. I okay. mean, it's, it's, it's not a huge, it's not like a huge reserve bank, but it, it is something that, because that, before we had nothing. Right. So this should at least be enough to power some laser turrets or whatever. Or like help kick on the uh, the other liquid handlers that are offline. Right. Sweet. I wonder... That's really cool. <laughs> I wonder, is there... Um, I wonder if there's a priority like built into the game as to what gets power first, you know? Like, I think uh, laser turrets are pretty up there, but I wonder if liquid handlers are also higher on the chain. I don't know. What I do know is I need to put more fuel here. I have a ton of coal in my inventory. I can yeah, throw can in you there. Put, can, you put, can you put in that chest over there for me? Yeah. I'm going to grab all this solid fuel that I made earlier. Alrighty, sweet. We have 358 processing units. Not bad. Okay, well now we have some sort of oh shit button for our power. <laughs> uh, Scared me for a second. I thought something was actually happening. Oh yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, these... Accumulator should be able to power that one fluid handler for quite a long time because it only uses a uh, five or 50, fifty kilowatts, and these things both oh, they all have the capacity of three hundred kilowatts each. No, sorry, they have five megajoules. Sorry. Which yeah, I don't know what that power conversion is, but so megawatts a megajoule. I'll look it up later. Um, all right. Well, 240 megajoule total capacity between all of them. However many kilowatts that converts to. Oh, yeah, but the bottom line is it'll, it'll, this thing will be on for quite a long time, even if, even if the rest of our shit dies. Yeah, exactly. Which is the Although, whole idea. Will it, but it won't power any of our inserters. What do you mean? Will it, it should. Power any of the inserters it, to load it these will. boilers? It will, yeah, because these are all over there as well. I mean, I, I could even do something like this where I, I have it. Uh, well, but these are there. all connected to the main power line. I think. Well, this line comes over here and then comes back around. So the secondary engines here will also power these inserters here. I see. Okay. I could, I could probably probably like move this to the right a little bit so I had more room to put down more power poles. Then, then I could have the accumulators also powering the inserters. Right. But I don't have any room, so. All right. Well, that's no big deal. Actually, well, what can I do that? I can damn. do. Uh... Yeah, you can't go all the way out into the water. All right. Well. Sweet. 
And then we have all these solar panels you put up, and now... And these um, extra accumulators. We should be good on power for a good while. Hopefully. Especially during the day. All right, I'm going to go grab... Because it's been a while since I've gone out there and grabbed all these corpses on the ground that are over here. More turrets. Oh, yeah, wow, there's a ton over here. I'm going to go grab some, too. Yeah, lots of reds over here. Yeah, there's like <laughs> a massive graveyard of them. They're just piled on top of each other. Exactly. Do I have any of the... No, I don't. Gates would be nice. Of course, I can only make one. It's, it's more than enough, right? Yeah. <laughs> so I think pretty soon here we should actually be able to upgrade most like all of our laser turrets to the um ruby ones oh yeah uh we have to make sure that they're because I, I noticed like every once in a while some will get attacked still and some will get destroyed yeah because if something happened to like because either a they broke through the wall and the, the guys aren't long enough to reach the wall to pick, put it back or it's always something always something that is for sure all right let me go ahead and make another one of these steel chests and then i'm going to um. All right. Wow. Yeah, I got like over a hundred red corpses here from that. Tons of big biter and big spitter things. We should probably set up processing for those. Oh yeah, because th those are pretty good, as far as the uh, amount of chitin you get from them. Hmm. Oh yeah, I would think so for sure. Uh, what is being done over here that's not working? Well, let me grab. Do I have any more tungsten walls? 28. Not a lot. Why is this not working? I don't get it. Is he out this... of this? What? what? What are we looking at? Looking at the uh, processor for Berserker Biter corpses. Why is this not working? Like, there's corpses right there it can pick up. Oh, oh, those, those, are, are, spitters. those are spitters, yeah. Damn it all the hell. Okay. Damn it. <laughs> all right, I guess we need to set up processing for those, too. <clears throat> Let me put down... Let's uh, make this only 100. 100 and... 100. Oops. Pretty dark up here. I'm going to put some lights up here, too. That's a good idea. Right there. Make some more of those. Where do we want this? I guess this can be down here. Oh, these guys up here are using dirty water again. All right. Why are they using? That's weird. Because uh, <clears throat> I think we tore up all the, uh, or I tore up all the. Fluid handlers when we had that power thing. No, dang, that's not good. Uh, I can make some more of these guys and fix it though. All right. Um, oh, iron. What am I looking for again? Oh, right. Big biter corpse processing. Perfect. And how many do you get from this? Quite Oops. a bit. Big spitter. Corpse processing. Of course they need water. Oh, wait, yeah, the, the big ones need sulfuric acid and water, don't they? Uh, no, they actually only need water. Oh, okay. And the corpse, of course. So, pump. And pipe. Why am I using all these level twos? That's like a waste of resources. Level two what? Pipes to go like five feet. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right. Come on, man. We need to automate pipes. I thought I did that. Um, did you did you automate them in the network or just like in a chest somewhere? I'm not sure. Maybe I'm just like thinking of a totally different save game of my own. <laughs> um, that's possible. Well, I grab some of these. Uh, 
processing units again. Uh, I want to go ahead and. I forgot to need liquid hands. See handles. if I can't upgrade some of our guys. How many can I make? I can make. 20 of the Mark 1s. Of oh, the Mark 1 what? Robots. Oh, nice. Uh, but of course, I need to wait until I finish making all this other junk. Wait, what the hell? Why so, are you giving me dirty water, dang? Come on now. Well, I'm going to finish making this, uh, these liquid handlers, and we're actually out of time. Oh, alrighty. Alright, so I'll do the outro. Sounds good. Alright guys, well, uh, as always, this has been Oni and Exterminator with more Ditech Multiplayer Factorio, and we hope you enjoyed watching, and we'll see you next time. Alrighty, see ya.